Hello, it is Tuesday, August 31st, a rainy day here in Seoul. I'm Alex Jensen and these are your daily headlines. The bridge on which BTS performed this summer will finally open to the public from tomorrow. World Cup Bridge spans the Han River close to Seoul World Cup Stadium and as the 31st bridge to cross the Han is expected to have a major impact by dispersing traffic and cutting commute times. Though it's also bound to attract a few BTS fans to check out the unusual stage used by the group when they performed for The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon back in July. We've already seen other relatively lesser known locations enjoy a BTS boost such as Maybang Beach in Gangwon Province, which was used for a photo shoot. And this month, fans have been lining up even on weekdays to recreate their own shots there. The South Korean Navy began a drill with a British aircraft carrier strike group in the East Sea today, at the risk of further upsetting North Korea, which has already expressed its opposition. The HMS Queen Elizabeth, with F-35B stealth fighter jets aboard and accompanying warships, embarked on a global tour in May Prime Minister Boris Johnson said his country wants to show China that we believe in the international law of the sea. North Korea responded earlier this month by accusing Britain, which fought on the side of the South during the Korean War, of a kind of provocation, though the exercise with South Korea is aimed at humanitarian and disaster relief missions. The South side for the drill is equipped with its flagship Dokdor transport vessel along with Aegis destroyer and submarine capabilities. Pyongyang has regularly condemned joint exercises between South Korean and American forces, but the US is not taking part in this week's drill, which has been scaled down after COVID-19 forced the British fleet to abandon its plan to stop in Busan. The top US envoy for North Korea has again expressed hope for Pyongyang's return to dialogue this week, despite concerns that the North's restarted its main Yongbyon nuclear reactor, capable of making weapons-grade plutonium. After a meeting with his South Korean counterpart No Kyu Dark in Washington, Sung Kim revealed they discussed ideas for engagement with the North, including possible humanitarian assistance. No said they also agreed the North Korean nuclear issue is urgent, as the South Korean government's monitoring the North with the US after the International Atomic Energy Agency recently reported operational activity involving the Yongbyon reactor for the first time since 2018. Well, that wraps up today's daily headlines, but you can check out more career-related news via that link below our official news website. And you can subscribe to Career Now if you want constantly added new content coming right to you.